Hey everybody, punctual, 3 p.m. exactly on a Friday and it's time for a bariatric chat. And I'm just, um, today's topic is going to be uh, holiday food blues. So hey guys, 3 p.m. Friday, it's um, one week before the Christmas draw we're going to have. Hey Craig, thanks for jumping on here. Today is holiday food blues. Um, but um, I wanted to discuss some topics with this really important weight loss surgery community and I'm going to blab a little bit while people jump on the video and to let you guys know just how much I appreciate all of you taking the time, Cliffy and June, to, uh, to get involved and, uh, and Dustin to be accountable here. Um, that's what makes us stronger as a community, right? Being able to have these important talks. Um, Hey, June, to talk about things like um, holiday food blues, holiday food depression. I just think that it's so important that, ho that uh, bariatric surgery is not just about the surgery, but it's about the entire journey that we're going through, Desiree. Um, we're constantly learning new ways to use our tool, and new nutritional science is coming out each day. So let's remain updated, and let's strive to get healthier together on this community. Um, once again, the topic today is holiday food blues, but let's talk about um, the Christmas straw. Everybody last week on the video who put me here in the comments were automatically um, put into a draw to win bariatric vitamins. Three month supply. I'm going to get to play Santa Claus next Friday, December 21st, and they're going to give away um, a free three month supply of bariatric vitamins. Very cool. So make sure if you put me in the comments again, you're going to get put into the draw again. So you get to have a, an extra chance to win the three month supply of vitamins. So I have to introduce myself. My name is Sherry Burke. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. I work together with bariatric clients and I've been working with them now for over a decade. I also specialize in um, setting up surgery, coordinating surgeries in Mexico. Hi, Emily. Thanks for jumping on the call today. So let's get into it, right? Um, Craig, shout out there. Well, how do you feel um, now that you're a new sleeve um, patient and this is your first Christmas going into Christmas? How are you feeling? Are you feeling a little bit uh, sad? Are you going to have a little have a little bit of uh, of FOMO or fear of missing out, not being able to eat like huge Christmas portions? This year, this topic was brought up last week in the Facebook video by Sarita Owen and Ken Clare, and they mentioned that they were feeling some depression around the holidays. June, um, I see you put me down, and so you're automatically going to be um, able to have a chance to win the bariatric vitamins. Madison Smith, um, Emily June Madison, Desiree, how do you ladies feel about holiday food blues like are you looking are you looking forward to the big meal coming up at the holidays or the Christmas or are you feeling a little bit sad or a little bit uh, lonely missing out on the food that is going to be served oh we can eat the food right but the portions change dramatically hey Nels welcome to uh, holiday food blues okay so holidays are upon us parties events family situation everything's focused on food and immediately when we think about the holidays, what do we think about? Food. Um, so we talked last week about trying to focus more on, on, on the event or focus more on maybe adding um, um, a game or a puzzle to your party or focusing more on the people there. Because when you have a bariatric pouch that is, hey Bobby, that's uh, three or four ounces large, how are we going to maneuver in these, these events? And, and feeling sad is going to be normal. It's like a food depression, right? <clears throat> Aaron, thanks for joining in. So let's look back to past holidays. And obviously, how did you feel overeating? I mean, realistically, how, let's, just, let's just break it down, look in the past, and then that'll help us figure out how we're going to move into the future with this pouch. So let's talk about... Um, how do we feel generally at these parties? After we overate, we ate the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the gravy, the stuffing, the beans, the pies, all that stuff. How did you feel? Did you feel good and happy after the party? Nell said that he personally enjoys bites of everything, and of course we have to be wise and make good decisions. Hey, Miguel. 
Hey, Katie. Yeah, Nels, absolutely. You have to be wise and make good choices. So we're talking to people going into the first year right now. They can only have a few bites. And yeah, and, and it's, they're, they're missing out on that big food experience, right? But I think that um, to get our heads around the small stomach, that we have to talk about um, other things that are going, that happened like in the past holidays, how we felt in the past holidays. So um, every single year in the beginning of November, I start to get my email inbox really full, right? About, quest, about how, questions about how to maneuver the holidays and, and how to prevent regain and how to, to make um, more, how we make such emotional attachments to food and how to break free from those attachments. Hey, Jill. Hey, Paul Calabrese, all the way from Cancun, Mexico. So how difficult is it to say no to the famous pasta that your aunt brings every year? And how, how difficult is it to say no to the special cookies that your mom bakes each year? And how to choose the things that you really want to eat? I mean, their mem family members are not always going to understand, right? And they're going to try to push you to eat a little bit more and have one more bite um, so it's just a hard, complicated situation. And so I just think it's really important to have a nice solid plan going into these kind of events. So let's focus on all the reasons why we had bariatric surgery, why, why you had bariatric surgery, why you make the decision. I want you to have a little pity party about food, right? And about the fear of missing out on all the big meal. But why don't we get a pen and paper and just stop for a minute and sit down and write all the reasons why the decision was made. Um, how did you feel the last holiday when you overate and the new year started and you were 10 pounds over your regular weight? How did you feel when you had pre-diabetes or when you had diabetes, full-blown diabetes, or you were told that you have high cholesterol or you were told that you have high blood pressure or how did those health issues make you feel, right? And that makes it easier to... Um, to get on board with um, a Christmas dinner that's going to look a lot smaller, right? How did it feel not having energy to go up the stairs? Or how did it feel not having energy to get down on the floor and play with your kids or with your grandkids or not being able to um, button up the blouse, your favorite blouse that was too tight? Emily, yeah, you're looking forward to, you're looking forward to holiday food. Just pace yourself. Exactly. Just slow down and decide what you truly want ahead of time. Exactly. And set goals before you go in. Exactly. Um, she says, you were so miserable. That's what I want to talk about. You're so miserable after eating a big dinner and you had no energy afterwards. And now you still have energy after eating smaller portions and I don't have that miserable feeling. I love that, Emily. That's exactly what, exactly, you've taken the words out of my mouth. That's how I want people to feel this year. Feel happy about the smaller portions and not have that fear of missing out. And remember why surgery was the decision. And why the decision was made to have a surgery. Hey, Kevin. Thanks, Paul. Merry Christmas to you, too. We're, um, we're just, uh, next Friday is December 21st. So um, if this time is flying, right? Hey, Jesse. So we talked about the depression we felt or the food morning that we felt. Um, oh, I have like watery eyes. I'm not crying. Believe me, I have like a, a Christmas allergy here. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, so now that we talked about the reasons why the decision to have surgery. Let's talk about some other ideas that you can use to go into this um, into this season. And I really love this next this this idea. And it's like Emily said, "Hey, Tanil, what about having a food coupon system?" Hey, Doug. So, what about if I said I want you to give yourself five free passes? Okay, sit down and actually write five coupons for yourself. This is a free pass. Put it down. This is a free pass. Put it in your wallet. Put it in your purse, and these are going to be totally guilt-free coupons that you can use five times during the holiday, right? So you're playing like a little game with yourself. Hey, Erica. Now, you don't need to use all five of them, right? But you have them in your wallet, and you have to ask yourself the following before you use them. Now, this is, this is the key here. Before you use them, you're going to ask, do I really want this? And is it totally worth it? So let's talk about the Christmas cake or the Christmas pie. Do I really want this? And is it totally worth it? Okay. And if you say yes, hey, Erica, hugs from Mexico. And then I want you to ask yourself, is there a recipe that I can make for this that is healthier? So let's take mashed potatoes, for example, right? Totally worth it, mashed potatoes and gravy. But 
Can I make something healthier? Cauliflower mashed potatoes? Okay, that's just an example. I know cauliflower will never be mashed potatoes, but this is an example. If you decide that yes, it's worth it, and no, you can't make a healthier recipe for it, you go for it. You take out a coupon, you use your coupon, and you feel really good about it. If you only use um, three coupons, take the other two for the holiday season. On the 1st of January, take out those coupons, throw them out, and use the plan for the next, the next holiday, right? Okay, I think it's hap it, it, the plan helps you because it helps you maneuver and kind of gives you a plan, right? Kind of gives you a plan where you don't walk around feeling guilty all the time. You don't walk around feeling like you can't have anything. You can, but just like Emily said earlier, let's just be realistic about um, slowing it down and really thinking about what you want and making good decisions. Okay, another thing that we can talk about is, um, um, so, oh, first of all, um, one more time, guys. Put me in the comments if you want to win the vitamins that we're doing the draw for. Three months supply of vitamins um, next 21 of December, next Friday. Okay, so setting up a short-term goal. Um, it's a perfect time to set up a short-term goal, goal right now. So you can talk about, um, for example, um, here's a short-term goal, goal from December 16th until January uh, 1st or December 31st. This is my short-term goal. I'm going to drink eight glasses of water a day. I'm going to go for a short walk, 30 to 40 minutes each day, and I'm going to take my bariatric multivitamins. Boom. There's a really cool short-term goal. That works. Um, December 1st, you can make, uh, sorry, January 1st, you can make a new short-term or a long-term goal or both of them, right? So if we shift our minds to focusing on positive things like short-term goals and couponing systems, then I think that we lose focus on the negative things like how we can have mashed potatoes or we can't have mashed potatoes and the macaroni and cheese and the cheesecake. Okay, so um, just wanted to let you know, to remind you, Kristen, hey, uh, put me in the, in the comments so you can get an extra um, draw for the free Christmas vitamins. Hey, Kristen. So anyone have anything to say about food blues? Anyone have any comments they'd like to make about um, how they're feeling this time of year or any kind of ideas? that uh, we can help and help us maneuver this time of the year. So what I'm really trying to do is, um, you're entered, Christian, me. What I'm trying to do is uh, shift the focus from feeling depressed about food to feeling excited about the holiday coming up and about your short-term goals and about your long-term goals, right? So to shift the focus on um, food sadness to um, goal-oriented happiness. I, um, I spent a lot of years now, um, it's actually really quiet online today, um, probably because everyone's out uh, working and shopping, um, two Fridays to go before Christmas. And so I have lots of experience understanding when it comes to surviving holidays and, and going through this experience and talking about uh, bariatric surgery. So if you have, oh, Tineal says short-term goals are everything. It makes long-term goals easier. Yeah, Tineal, I think that's super important that we don't just um, go f shoot for the, the long-term goal. I always talk to patients before they have surgery. I ask them, okay, talk, talk to me. What is your goal weight? And the goal weight is, for example, 150 pounds. Okay, so right now your weight today is 220. So let's talk about a short-term goal to get you from, from here to here because those short-term are very motivational, right? It helps you so much easier to arrive that long-term goal. It just keeps you moving and keeps you motivated. Hey, Jack. So yeah, I definitely think. And so like I'm saying right now to Neil, I think it's important that um, we have short-term goals right now during the holiday season to help us not have a regain or help us not feel sad um, whenever we can't eat a huge plate of Christmas dinner. Because the, the plate of Christmas dinner never really made us happy, did it? It wasn't, it wasn't happiness. Um, it's much, you'd be much happier leaving the party and feeling happy and satisfied like you had a good time and not focusing on the food so much. Okay, so if anyone has anything to say, I'm going to let the video um, putter itself out. Um, and so let me see here. If you guys have any questions, you want to reach out. Um, if you're seeing this video on the replay, make sure to put me, I'll add you in and I'll make sure that you get a... Um, another drawing for the Christmas draw for the vitamins. And I'm going to see you next Friday, 21st of December at 3 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we're going to do the Christmas draw. We're going to have a little chat. 
and uh, get ready for Christmas. Guys, I send you a big hug. And I'm thinking about all of you. And if you need anything, you just reach out here to find me on Facebook. And uh, bye for now. Have a super nice weekend. Bye for now, guys.